Ah, ah the black iron helm of Commander Gaius. Part of an armor set pattern after fallen seeds. Gaius was the most senior disciple of the same alabaster lord who taught Radon and Gaia gravitational technique. Cool. I'm happy to have encountered this creature. Let me give myself cool new drip so that I can resist even more damage. And let's see this remembrance. What did you give me? Ooh. Ah, a lands. Not... I've never been a fan of thrusting swords. I have enough with the weapon between my legs. I don't need any more lances. And this is a sorcery. So they're both stuff that I don't really care for. It is a strength weapon though. I'll take the weapon and uh, I'll put some points into it. Test it out. But thrusting weapons, they're, they're just boring. They're just really boring to me. Maybe it does have a cool ash of war that I can get behind. But... For the most part, I completely ignore all thr thrusting weapons. Ah, yes, behold the scale fat warrior. With his incredible scythe, I thought, for the old time's sake, let's roll forward with the scythe. I have this feeling that there's going to be more fire enemies ahead, so I really don't want to put on any more fire damage. I like the curved swords, but if we need to find another one of these, What's that, though? What's that? Oh, that looks like just more furnace golems. Mm. And we need to fight another one of these golems. Let me grab all of these. Uh, I really don't want to be equipped with a fire weapon. I'm gonna grab all these. And brace for when one of them inevitably comes back to life. It is a completely a short thing. There was never any doubt. That one of these things would simply take up, wake up, and start bothering me. They fall. What is going on here? It's just trying to super blender me in its strange basket. All right, but well, I look forward to your constant. Yep, yep, stomping of the thing, and then we do attacks. Ah. How about I show you the results of this foregone conclusion? Enormously obnoxious to fight around this irregular terrain <laughs> where I'm getting caught all the time, so let me see if I can drag him away from there. When fighting your Colossus becomes a tedious routine, it is maybe time not to include them anymore in the rotation. If you're going to do the exact same encounter maybe it wasn't necessary to add them yeah don't just mindlessly find things to praise in the dlc overall my impression is extremely positive but just like elden ring overdid it with the repetitive dungeons that really had no reason to be there this DLC really is overdoing it with <laughs> both of these, these guys, and the ulcerated tree spirits. There goes Luna. Finally jumped off my lap. I've been needing to pee for quite a while, but you know, the cat is on your lap. You are not allowed to disturb the cat. It's just rules of cat ownership. You suffer. Take it, just hold your pee, any kind of chores that need to be done. Everything needs to be delayed in favor of not disturbing the sleeping cat. Oh, he's doing the explosion. I thought for sure that he was about to uh, bother me again. Holy crap. This can actually kill me. Yeah, yeah. Nothing makes it, uh, this fight more interesting than having to redo it all over again. This cat is just a troll. She gets off my lap, goes to the door, looks at it. So I'm like, all right, she needs to go pee or something. Open the door. Does absolutely nothing. Just stares at me. I tried to tell her, you gotta go out or I'm going to close the door again. And she just goes back inside, sits under the freaking chair. What is going on? You gotta stop even trying to figure out anyway what we're going to do. We're going to equip ourselves for this fight. It is obnoxious as hell. <laughs> we're going to do it. That's right, we did grab this sword lance and it does scale with strength. Spinning gravity thrust. Let's put it on. 
Check it out. Very badass, very cool. Not going to uh, go on my way to use it anyway. I don't care. Give me some flower power. Man, what a difference fire protection makes. <laughs> Damage received is like completely halved. It's truly impressive. What proper equipment will do for an encounter. I mean, proper equipment, proper buffs. But anyway, uh, keep wailing at this thing. A good trick is not not staying right under the firestorm. That works pretty well. Holy crap, it's about to barf. <laughs> super barf. The super fire attack. It is almost done. What is that? Five minutes? <laughs> so stupid, man. <laughs> These encounters. Like, remember the first time you encountered the ulcerated tree spirit? What a badass moment and what what a badass fight that was. Like you barely even know what's going on. And it's this massive, super difficult encounter in that tiny arena at the bottom. Oil soaked tear. And a furnace visage, alright. Uh this horrible encounter that is like holy crap, this is so badass. Then you encounter that thing twenty more times and the boss goes from this is pretty awesome to holy crap this is tedious exact same experience with the furnace golems it's a tragedy it's a a terrible tragedy less is more with a uh, an enemy like this and i doubt i am in any kind of minority opinion here i bet it's a very wildly held belief and criticism of the dlc how fighting these guys is just obnoxious as hell and it's not like like, you can choose to skip them, but what? Are you going to work around it while you explore these chapels and all that stuff? No, you have to You have to get rid of them somehow. So, it is a pretty much mandatory fight that you have to do and get completely wrecked. Please don't come back to life. I'll be so mad. <laughs> I'll be so freaking mad. Head required ahead. All right, all right. I will do ahead. Let me go back. So we were at, in fact, what I should do is just use the teleport and now we can explore this place without that added stupidity of having that golem over there. All right, let us approach this place with my scythe and have a better time exploring some ancient ruins. I want to be an archaeological wonder kid and I'm going to find the most incredible historic artifact without having to be harassed by some horrible monstrosity. Lost Ashes of War. Those are always welcome. Especially as I become more experienced in the Elden gameplay. Having the Ash of War that I enjoy and every weapon that I like. Oh, hello. You're just a dude, huh? You're the one and only keeper of this place, this, you pathetic roasted being. Let me electrify my weapon so I can properly torture you. Are you going to morph into some kind of boss? Like uh, the weirdo outside of Lanedale? No. So odd for just a, a singular person. Oh, okay, there's more than one. <laughs> just a singular roasted boy. Roasted boy. Hanging out in this place. But no, there's more than one. All right, very uneventful ruins so far, but you know, we haven't made it inside. What does it look like? It's actually fairly big. Here's where I came from. All right, let's see if we can get into these giant walls. I'm sure there will be some kind of momentous encounter in there. At the very least, a piece of loot or some interesting lore. Either way. Almost excited to explore ruins like this. It is one of my favorite parts. The boss fights, the killing monsters, the fashion and the weapons. It's all good. Exploring the unknown. And never knowing what's going to be around the corner or through the threshold. I think is my favorite part of any Souls experience. Of course, it doesn't work without all the other parts, but like if it's just a walking simulator where you're just exploring and there's no real uh, weight of course consequences to anything, 
not nearly as exciting. Pathetic sword ahead, all right? I will love... Man, it's so freaking dark. I will love to find an entrance to this place, though. I think I can do it right on top of this thing. And just walk around there again. Maybe there is no entrance. Maybe climb on top of this creature. Maybe you can actually go up. Nope, nope, definitely not. <laughs> just clip right through it like it's a Ubisoft game. Hmm. Well, maybe this little building will have an answer to a question. It looks like a little piece of ash over there that I'm never excited to find. Give me skibbity tree fragments. Those are the those are the good stuff. Ember of Mesmer. Not exciting. Maybe make it on top of this building. I doubt it. Ooh. Nah. All right. Give me uh, that weird ash and altar. Give me the ashes so that. My dormant spirits can grow in power. Revere Ash, maybe in the back, will be the entrance that we've been clamoring for. Please, stop teasing me with these giant walls. I need to see what's across them. This cannot be. <laughs> you can't just keep me out like this. I must know what lays beyond the stone barrier. This seems almost possible. But it feels like I am... Mm, this is definitely not the way to do it, right? Seems ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you're supposed to go in there in some other way. I really... This has been an extremely blue balling experience. I thought for sure that there will be an entrance and we'll be able to explore it. But clearly that's not... That's not the way that you're coming here because I've done like three loops by now. <laughs> there is no entrance that I can see. Maybe there was an entrance. You're supposed to do something. Supposed to do something to discover an entrance, but I am incapable. Oh well, I officially give up. Let's simply keep going down this path. Quite the blue balling experience for sure. <laughs> Looking forward to being across those those walls. Maybe I, I don't know. I don't. I maybe being stupid but I really feel like uh, there's just no way in truly could not find it let's grab this side of grace and carry on with our lives look forward to seeing what else can we find down this path it is quite curious there is a gigantic area over here and it seems like there's also stuff at the bottom it's not just the cliffside. So I guess we'll just continue going forward. What do you have to say? Jumping ahead. Jumping indeed. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot because I might have completely missed this precipice and been wholly humiliated. What are these? Ah, oh, I don't like these enemies. These enemies are pretty obnoxious. We really don't want to fight them. He's spitting disgusting maggots at me. That is just rude. No! <laughs> well, fine. I was uh, ready to just let you live. Just pass you by without disturbing your incredible life experience of foraging for maggots in the dirt. But I suppose I'll just have to murder you all because you decided to interfere with the Elden Lord. There's a number three over here. Did not notice it? Please get off the horse. There you go. Piece of garbage. No, no, get off, get off. Let me uh, use one of these. The absolute filth. I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. That's <laughs> another rune arc. I'll never get back. I'm gonna have to farm some freaking. Uh, PvP or co-op to be able to get a few rune arcs because this game keeps stealing them from me. Fly mold. Yeah, <laughs> he was just really protective of his mold. I wonder if you're. Oh, wonder if you're supposed to jump down onto the cliffs. Seems to be the case with that message over there, but that's just that's just cliff baiting. Wicked sword ahead, futility ahead, but praise the research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody already had the same questions that I have right now. And they probably 
found nothing but futi futility and succumbed to gravity. So I guess we'll just keep going forward. Let's just go dismounted because it's kind of annoying as hell to get off the horse at every turn to kill these filthy mothmen. Absolutely despise them all. Why must I constantly wallow in filth? Why can't I roll with the anointed, the splendid, the brilliant, the cleansed of all dirt? No, I need to roll in the deep with this filth. Absolutely hate it. More electrification of my weapon. More death being doled out by my incredible power to reap the souls of my enemies. Holy crap, that is a lot of Mothman. How about you eat my ass? Most literal way possible. I guess there is a more literal way to interpret that. Where they literally stuck their mouths inside of my butt of my butthole like this one is doing. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Because he literally ate my ass. And it was not a pleasant experience. Did not consent to that level of invasion of my cavities. Alright, another side of grace. We carry on slowly traversing this area. This looks like death though. You don't want to throw yourself at the abyss. That looks safe. This drop looks safe. The other one did not. There you go. You can double back, go across this side of the cliff. Or you can definitely grab this side of grace. What are these called? Yes, ah! <laughs> come. Yes. Never-ending Mothman. No, I didn't want to rest here. Now everything's respawned. I meant to... Hey, that's right. I meant to... Wouldn't the Skibbity Tree Blessings max out? I wonder if it's 10. It would be weird to be maxed out. Probably it's 25 or something silly like that. Uh, what are these called? Recluses, R Recluses River. And what is the other one called? Recluses River. All right. A strange name. I guess maybe recluse. Okay, that's the official way down. That I don't quite want to engage with just yet. Level one broken room, my favorite. Okay, that is definitely the official way down. There was a bit of a cliffside over here. I think we'll be able to go up to that weird cemetery with the Mikola crosses or the the grave site crosses. It's very dark. Does it end? No, it doesn't. It really seems that it connects over here. Yeah. Go down this path. More muffin. Lots of messages. What, what are you guys saying? Ambush ahead. Thanks. I appreciate it. I mean, there's a shiny. There is a wonderful piece of loot over there. I am going to walk in like a buffoon. It's just Mothman. What's the worst that can happen? They can just stick their filthy tongues inside my butt crack again big whoop oh man there's actually quite a few of them butt attack for victory they are dead they deserve nothing but a painful defeat for all the mental distress that they are causing me barfing literal maggots at me it is very disturbing, very upsetting, and I don't appreciate it. So they need to be enclaved in twine. Is it twine or twine? For sure it's twine. Anyway. I'm hoping to find a cliff dead end. Please, cliff dead end. Looks like it. So I can just double back, go to the weird uh, uh, cliffside cemetery. Who were the absolute weirdos that were burying their dead in such a remote area? Were the corpses dug out by the maggot men and eaten? Too disturbing nonsense. More of these creatures, huh? Alright. You gotta respect these guys because while they're really, really not durable at all, they actually do a ton of damage, but 
as you can see my health bar right now. <laughs> they are extremely... They're big glass cannons is what they are. You can murder them easily if you land the first hit. If they stun lock you, you are done for. You have a real bad time, what do you have to say? Behold message. Wonderful. Oh, there's actually a piece of loot over here. It's made in stone too. I only have uh, 1,500 of those, so that plus two, very, very useful. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you saying there's literally nothing to be found here? <sighs> I guess we're going down the cliff. This cat, literally, sitting by the door, staring at me. I look at her, she's like, meow. All right, all right, you're ready to go out. I open the door. She goes out. Just walk down, leisurely pace. I close the door. What do I hear? Meow. Meow, meow, desperate meow. Please. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. All kinds of parasites going through my mouth just now. He's meowing at the door because I kicked her out like, You insane creature! Make up your freaking mind! <laughs> Went down this cliff. Murdering Mothman. What's new? What's good? What's good? Let's go down there. Slowly making her path to the bottom of this nightmarish area. It's all washed out blues, but that's starting to look like the surface of the river. Hey, a horse scent! Holy crap! <laughs> Throw the crap out of me. You are also. You seem to have mad eyeballs. Are you? Uh, I'm being uh, molested. Very rude. And now I'm probably going to get comboed to death. Extremely upsetting. Die a million deaths. How obnoxious to be ambushed like so? Correct. Oh! Please die. <laughs> Holy crap. What an ambush. But hey, did not miss... Did not miss the crazy eyes. As I was, uh, for, uh, as was foretold, the Flame of Frenzy has some influence going on in this area. Looking forward to that. Really did not know until the comments happened that the Flame of Frenzy would make another appearance in the DLC. I thought that this place had absolutely nothing to do with it, but I suppose the heart of chaos lives in every creature and every realm, no matter how remote, no matter how banished it may be. I hear more maggots. Village of flies? My favorite. <laughs> so wonderful to be more and more involved in the living spaces of these horrendous monsters. Anyway, uh, uh, there's the village of flies, yes indeed. But there's also the way forward, or rather the way down. Yeah! Homer startled me into jumping down. Um, I want to see whether the way down is this path, or we're supposed to keep going. That looks like uh, definitely not doable. I'm sure we can find it find the way down but for now let's go explore the village of flies I guess and get even more involved in the parasite placing inside of my mouth absolutely hate it amazing I keep messing up die horrible creature wonder what's the story of these guys are these wonder if these are the kind of creature that was made, you know, I'm, I'm metamorphosed by some kind of horrible experiment. Or they are more like the misbegotten, where they are simply deformed hominids, you know, deformed beings, deformed from our perspective, from the human perspective. And they were shunned just like the misbegotten. Feels more like the bandages and kind of the vibe 
feels like more like they are some kind of weird cursed people that got absolutely wrecked by some kind of eldritch curse and now they are forever doomed to be mothmen i really shouldn't be charging forward like this because these creatures the only chance they got against me is by mobbing me yeah yeah well they super combo me into a fate where i get destroyed by <laughs> many of them crowding around me so let's be a little bit more patient just draw back a little bit maybe cleanse them with holy fire that'll be quite nice how about you eat one of these Boom! <laughs> Die. Filth. Ah! That's so annoying. <laughs> Stop it. How many are still alive here? Are they all dead? Filth! Stop! They actually do some weird nauseating noises over there. Some absolutely off-putting kind of guttural excretions please don't stop disturbing me how about you eat some of the mesmer's flame that should have cleansed you long ago burst <laughs> oh yeah ah! <laughs> Phil. this is definitely a war of attrition they are liable oh we got to die they are liable to destroy me by simply leaving me without heals. Eventually, I shan't be able to uh, fend them back. Manfly Ashes. Wow, how unexciting. Because that's, that's the kind of creature I want by my side. No, some, some gruesome, disgusting, and postulant filth drooling all over my armor as they try to kill my enemies all right golden horn tenda a mountain indeed indeed very eloquent all right i'm hoping to find uh, something momentous this was extremely underwhelming hey what you got garbage that's the path that i've been traversing surely as a way down I, i'm assuming the way down is that hole that I came across and I decided to turn back on. Uh, let me make sure that there's no path up here. I deem this area exhausted of all interesting things. Let me kill this last straggler trying to murder me. And now I'll just keep going down. Hey, you actually gave me some charges. That looks survivable, right? I think it is. Jump over across and maybe slide down this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very survivable. Lara ahead. Visions of destruction. That looks survivable. But it could be deceptive. Let me make sure there's not a safer path to follow. Yeah, more of these. Maybe I can fight 70 more of those. That will that will make a really enjoyable experience. Alright. Seems like we're finally reaching the thing is. Hmm. I think that was a fork in the path. I think that was totally reachable. Damn it. This looks like it just keeps going down and down and down. And in fact, this is just like death. No, it's not. It's not death. Two paths. I, I would rather go that way. I want to see what's all the way over there. It's basically this whole area right here. Probably allows you to double back all the way up river or something. Well, that would mean having to kill everything again, or bypassing it. Let's just keep doing Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going down. Ah, is that survivable? Yeah, this is definitely survivable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, keep going down. Hopefully, it'll be a side of grace, and then I'll, I'll teleport back up. Hello. Number 752. Creature. All right. Just keep going down. Eventually, we'll get somewhere interesting. Almost jumped down there, but that is uh, a bad idea. 
this is the place. I can't, I can't take anymore. I am so done killing you disgusting buffoons. Let me just kill your master ceremonies real quick. Uh, if... Get me out of here! <laughs> just right. Right out of here. Be careful, though. Jump! Okay. Ah! <laughs> Please don't tell me I've already been here. That would be very, very upsetting. This looks extremely, extremely familiar, but it's, I think it's simply a matter of it being very similar to a place we were at. I am nowhere near a place. Yeah, dark light catacombs, huh? Ah, find me a side of graze and then we're going to go back up. Ah, feels good. There's a piece of loot there, though. So, I must run in here and get ambushed in favor of grabbing this loot. Yep, yep, you sure are a monster that is annoying me. But you cannot stop me from grabbing this thing. Grave Glove Work 5? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have risked life and limb for it. Get me out of this place! Alright, show me where the hell am I. I am literally at the bottom of this cliff. I don't want to be here. I want to go back all the way over here and then jump across that little cliff that, that there was. I, I'll report my findings, whether I drop all the way to the bottom <laughs> or I make it to that little uh, middle middle level. Here it is. Hussah! Okay, that was indeed super doable. This is the place where I wanted to explore. I completely forgot about the horn scent that was ready to ambush at the top. This looks like some kind of boss areno. Please, not another furnace. I am so fed up of furnace golems. Anything but a furnace golems. I'll gladly fight an ulcerated tree spirit. It seems like to be another way down there. Murder this dog. Poor bastard. Get wrecked. Always check under the waterfalls. You must. It is an RPG obligation to always go under the waterfalls. You never know where there may, may be a leprechaun. Oh! It's on a hippo creature, isn't it? I was like, oh, is that a giant dog? But no. It is another hippo monster. Wonder if this one will also break out in super spines or if it's just a bog standard version. Scorpion liver. Spider scorpions, I see. But that's the first one that I see, even though we've killed like a couple hundred of those. Oh, you see it, something? Oh, it's just acquire a round rock. <laughs> as opposed to the square rocks and the triangle rocks. We got ourselves the round rock. Alright, well, I guess we are fighting hippo creature. A hippopotamus is not... So well, no, no, that is not what I'm going to do. Uh, hippopotamus is not something to mess with. You gotta respect the final boss of humanity. Give me some black flame protection. And fire damage should be quite handy, quite useful against this monster. Alright, hippo. Please don't erupt in spines. I would not appreciate it. Only one handed yet. Yeah. Damage is really laughable. <laughs> it's actually sad. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to two-hand this sword. Ow. Take on fire. Maybe we got some roasted blubber for dinner. Okay, I am receiving a major beating, but thanks to my enormous pile of skibby tree blessings and badass outfit, this thing is just getting creamed by butthole. Okay, I meant to do a, a, a critical attack, but I guess you're just done. And it didn't have some kind of weird porcupine face like the other one. Skibbity tree fragment, alright. Indeed, it, I guess it looks like uh, level 10 is not the max. Alright, it seems like we are probably done with this whole area. Let's go all the way to the corners of the world. 
and then I will feel satisfied. It's always matches. Some somebody always bothers to leave a really inane message <laughs> for people to waste their time with. All right, I'm going to look around this wilderness, and if there's nothing, I'll just go back down. Uh, somehow I missed that there were actually two of these hippos, so <laughs> let's make sure that the male and the female both get destroyed, and that way no more of these abominations can ever spawn. Here, give some of that, and some of that. Really, you got staggered that fast, huh? Oh, I can't do the critical attack here. It's so strange. Go right. I think I am super underestimating the burst damage that may happen. Alright, it's all good. <laughs> do you have another Skibbity Refragment? Yeah, you do. Amazing. Well, that was a cool, funky detour. Oh, oh, I see a piece of loot. It wasn't a piece of loot, it was just a message. There is a pile of platforms to go down. Let's use the platforms instead of the the cliffside over there. I don't think I can actually reach the cliffside again without teleporting, so let's use these and hopefully I will not kill myself. <laughs> Alright, they were quite easy to navigate. Sometimes there are major pain to descend in a manner that doesn't just outright murder you. Why is everybody dying and just jumping off the cliff, right? Yeah, people are like just real smart. Freaking militiamen are pissing me off always being all the way down here in the midst in the midst of the mist all right so there was the catacomb oh there was a catacomb is there anything else down here let's find out before i go in there i'm being chased so i cannot bring up the map please all right uh, it seems like probably the catacomb is the only thing that you can find all the way down here, which is weird. It's like, I really expected some kind of ruin, some kind of village, something. But it just goes deeper and deeper underground, something that is very ma very much matching the three fingers at the bottom of Lanedale. They seem to just always hide in the deepest recesses of the lands between and the realm of shadow. Okay, we got this bar. I wanted to teleport back to the side of grace, but I guess we're doing it live. We're just gonna do it live. Dark Light Catacombs, here we come in the next episode.